The Library Fish Learns to Read, written by Alyssa Satin Capuchili, illustrated by Gladys Jose. The library fish loved her home on the desk of Mr. Hughes, the librarian. It was a perfect place to welcome every visitor to the library. From where she sat, the library fish could check each book that was borrowed and returned. The library fish loved watching everyone wind through the bookshelves searching for just the right book. She loved the quiet home of the room as each person settled into a comfortable spot to read and read and read and read. Of course, when someone wanted to practice reading, Library Fish listened carefully. She never interrupted. Still, story time was her, always her favorite part of the day. Mr. Hughes reads stories that made Library Fish quiver with excitement. Sometimes he read stories that made her laugh out loud. Today, Mr. Hughes held a book that Library Fish had never seen before. He read the title, the, the name of the author, and the illustrator. Library Fish was all ears. Once there was a dog, Mr. Hughes began, who loved stories. Library Fish nodded. I love stories too, she thought. She inched closer so she could hear Miss Mr. Hughes continue. Whether he was listening to a story or looking through wonderful illustrations, each and every book took the dog on a new adventure. Library Fish giggled. Me too, she thought. Stories had taken her on amazing adventures. What happened next, she wondered. One day, the dog decided he would learn to read. Learn to read, the library fish whispered. Go on, go on. It took a lot of time and patience and practice, but after some time, the dog began to read all by himself. Mr. Hughes had not even turned the page when Library Fish wanted to clap. She wanted to cheer. She wanted to hear the story again and again. Most of all, Library Fish wanted to learn to read too. Library Fish swam around her bowl. She already knew the library was the very place to learn to read. She was surrounded by everything she needed to begin. Still, it would take some planning. Library Fish waited until Mr. Hughes called, Good night, Library Fish. Keep an eye on the library. Then she sprang into action. Filled with all the possibility of a great story, Library Fish was ready for her newest adventure, with plenty of hard work, determination, and of course, imagination. Library Fish soon landed on the desk of Mr. Hughes with a triumphant splash. The first stop, the alphabet, said, Miss, said Library Fish. Library Fish had listened to Mr. Hughes teach readers about the alphabet any number of times. The alphabet is made of letters, Mr. Hughes had said. The letters make the sounds. And when we string and weave and blend those sounds together, we get words. Words make stories. One by one, Library Fish studied the letters carefully. Hour after hour, night after night, she made sure she knew every letter and each sound it made. F for fit was for fish was one of her favorite words. Z, 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 Z's were always welcome after a long night's work. In the morning, 
Library Fish was right there to open the library with a wiggle of her tail, even if she was a bit sleepy. Now when books were borrowed and returned, she noticed every letter on the covers and every word. When the library was closed for the night, Library Fish practiced and practiced some more. In time, Library Fish found, found she could put letters together to make sounds. Fish, wish, swish. She could read small words too. Even her fishbowl was filled with fun words like blub, and wiggle and bubble. Library Fish practiced reading to her friend Bookmobile. She practiced reading to no one at all. And when someone wanted to practice reading to Library Fish, she listened with great attention, as always. Then she practiced reading right back in a very quiet voice, of course. Library Fish poured over the page after page and book after book. When she couldn't quite figure out a word, the illustrations were there to help her. One night, Library Fish went up and down the aisles of the library in search for just the right book. She chose one carefully and settled into a comfortable spot. Slowly, Library Fish read one word, then another, then another. She read line after line, page after page. She giggled, she gasped, she laughed out loud. When she came to the last page, Library Fish read aloud in her proudest voice. The end. It was only when the sun began to peek into the sky that library fish tucked herself into her bowl. She drifted off to sleep, murmuring, I am a reader. I am a reader. The next morning, library fish welcomed every visitor to the library. It was sure to be a busy day. But tonight, she thought tonight might be the perfect time to share all I have learned with a good friend. She could hardly wait to begin. The end.